here we go again, and yes, we have a theme for today. You may have figured it out, may not, from that first song. But I was just thinking the other day about a fellow I've mentioned many times in the show, Art Van Dam, who was sort of the pioneer and greatest uh, jazz accordion player. <clears throat> And I said, well, you know, I know a few years ago I did a little tribute to Art. So I thought, well, you know, maybe I'll do a few of his tunes. Well, I started writing down all the Art Van Dam tunes I know, and I got enough for two shows. So, so we're going to play Art Van Dam today. And, uh, and I, not that I feel totally qualified to do the same, but we'll give our best. Now, you notice I used the vibe at the beginning of that, uh, that song. And, uh, of course, the Art Van Dam sound, he had a quintet. It was accordion, bass, drums, guitar, and vibes. Well, I'd, of all the sounds in this silly instrument, the guitar sound isn't that great. So I'll use vibes mostly and the accordion, and maybe I'll throw in, well, you know, if you hear the piano, make, make, make believe it's a guitar anyway. So that first tune was called Gone With The Wind. <clears throat> from 1937. Now that's on several of Art's uh, albums and he always played it at his live concerts. Uh, he, he, uh, he recorded something like over 40 albums, so there's plenty of tunes to pick from. And the uh, <clears throat> song was 1937. And the person that wrote it was accused of hanging on to the coattails of some little movie Oh, I can't remember. Some little movie of that about that. Oh, yeah, it's called Gone with the Wind. And he insists, no, nope, no, nope, has nothing to do with the movie. Just happened to write the tune at that time and like the title, and that's it. So, well, we don't know. I mean, everybody involved is gone now, so we just got to let history talk about itself. All right. Well, this next tune was written in 1941 by a fellow named Juan Tizal. Who? Juan Tizal. He was a trombone player with a great Duke Ellington orchestra, and he wrote several tunes. And he wrote this one, like I said, 1941. It seems every tune he wrote, uh, the critics decided, oh, that, that's, the, that's the Duke signature song. Well, this has also been called the Duke signature song. Little tune called Perdido.
Perdido, Perdido, Quantizo, 1941. Well, this next tune, I may have told this story before. I have a little, shall we say, a uh, personal uh, history with it. Uh, written by Cole Porter, 1928. Now, when I went to Berkeley School of Music many decades ago, I am not ashamed to admit that I was probably, at the time, the, low, the, yeah, the most least or least most talented person to ever walk through those doors. And, uh, <clears throat> but, you know, you give it a try, right? So every week you had a session with people who pl played your instrument. So there was an accordion playing session coming up. Now I could barely play, Mary had a little lamb. So my roommate, who actually was a high school <clears throat> classmate, he was a year ahead of me, who was a great jazz piano player, we sat and he and we, we worked on this song and he wrote it all out, all the jazz things and and you know, and I, I I walked in there full of trepidation, scared to death. Went to the class, and they never called on me. Never called on me. So I survived that one. The tune is called "Let's Let's Fall in Love." So here we go. <laughs> Let's fall in love. Oh, by the way, guys, it's not not a real good pickup line, you know. You got you to wait till you've, you know, 
taught for five or six minutes, then he can suggest that. But anyway, okay, this next song, this next song actually has uh, two different titles. One is called Summer Samba, and the other one is called So Nice. So I think what I'll do, I think I've done this before, is on the right hand I'll play Summer Samba, and the left hand I'll play So Nice. And let's let's see what happens. And this, this was, uh, when was this written? I think it's somewhere around 19, actually, 1964, yeah, it was part of that whole uh, Latin invasion type thing that that we had way back then. So <clears throat> let's uh, let's see what happens if I hit the right button here, which would be a novelty. All right, a little so nice, or summer samba over here. <laughs> or summer samba, but I think it was kind of, no, well, sort, sort of, well, it was nice. All right, 1928, this next tune, uh, and I have, uh, <clears throat> well, somewhere I have the recording, but <clears throat> a friend of mine uh, put it on a, you know, one of those sticks that go in the, in the, uh, <clears throat> the computer, with Mr. Van Dam when he played a Sano accordion, and it, it was a, an ad, and a fellow named Tommy Ippolito from Albany, New York, was playing an instrument called the Sanovox, which I played for many years. And Tommy pioneered this whole left-hand bass thing that I attempt to do now. So it's Tommy Ippolito and Art Van Dam on, on this recording, and this tune is called making whoopee and it's from a show called um oh yeah whoopee so let's see what it sounds like <laughs> Thank you. 
freaking Whoopi from Whoopi. All right, you probably noticed, perhaps, I'm doing a little, little extra bass, <coughs> little, little extra bass solos because, and not when I was playing with his quintet, <coughs> everybody got a chance to play. It just wasn't Art Van Dam and four guys. Uh, Art would play the main so <coughs> solo was on the course, then the uh, guitar player would play, and the vibes player, the bass player would do some runs, the drummer would do a few things. So everybody in Art's group played. So that, that was one of the, the biggest things about him. <coughs> well, we're getting down towards, towards and near the end of our time. This tomb, uh, I think I've done this recently, so uh, bear with me. Uh, it's a little bit quick, so uh, I would advise you to not try to tap your foot to this tomb because uh, it comes with a disclaimer. I cannot be responsible for any sprains or strains that may develop because of it. But uh, <clears throat> this tomb was written in uh, 1926. It was for years sort of a sing-along tomb. Now back in the wedding days, you know, every time you did a wedding, after the meal was served, you had to do a sing-along session. Oh, did I hate those sing-along sessions? Those, oh, couldn't stand it. And this tune especially was the king of the sing-along sessions. Oh, I hated this tune. Then, the jazz guys got a hold of it, and I Van Dam did it. And wow, I, now I love the tune. So like I said, be a little bit rapid, so if I don't run out of fingers, uh, we'll see what happens. So here we go. Call bye-bye, Blackbird. Here we go. <laughs> Blackbird, and of course, bye-bye Art Van Dam. He left us, I believe it was February 10th, 2015. He played his last chord. And uh, <clears throat> like I said, I knew him, and I actually uh, was living in a town a little north of where we are now, and I had him uh, through Sano in for a concert. And Joe Zonfrilli, who owned Sano Accordion, said, well, let, 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 let me bring Tommy in, too. So Tommy Ippolito also came. And here we had 
Tommy Ippolito and Art Van Dam doing a concert. And of course, the biggest thing was after it was all over, in my living room, his Art Van Dam, the greatest accordion player in the world, holding court. Ah, yes. Those memories. But like I said, of course, Art is no longer with us. <laughs> so there's a little tribute. And actually, this will be a two-part show uh, because I have enough tunes to do another, an, an another Van Damme tribute. So I will do that very soon. So that just about takes care of our show for today. Thank you all for watching, listening, tuning in. You know what I'm going to say. Bring the young'uns in and let them hear these great tunes by this great, great player. He was the greatest. Now, I think there's somebody we know who has sat right here who may take that mantle someday. A little fellow named, uh, well, what's his, oh yes, Corey Pesituro. Uh, Corey is, by the time he gets another 20 or 30 years, he will be recognized as the greatest. So let's take it home a little more of that old blackbird. Here we go. Boy.